If you're like me, you're already missing EuroBasket 2022. What an amazing tournament FIBA put on. And our European basketball players really showed out uh, in this tournament. Throughout this uh, episode, I'm just going to go through some of the key stats uh, and who really highlighted their skills throughout the EuroBasket 2022. I mean, first, I'm going to talk about Yanis, bringing of Greek descent. I was very proud uh, of how well he did in this tournament. He averaged 29.3 points in this EuroBasket. Uh, the highest was also a Greek person, Nikos Gallus, with 32.4 points in 1991. Now, Yanis didn't surpass him, but came very close. Uh, so a good showing on Yanis's part when it come, came to scoring. Um, Luka Doncic in Cologne. Luka scored 47 points in the game against France. Um, the highest game scoring was 63 points in 1957 from Belgium's Eddie Terrace. So again, didn't surpass, but came uh, you know, close to, and the skill level was amazing. Star power, I mean, Luca had 47 points. France's Laurie Markinen had 43 against Croatia, and Yanis had 41 against the Ukraine. High scoring points for three key players in this tournament. The next player I want to emphasize is Lorenzo Brown and I think throughout this tournament he has not been given the kudos he deserves. He had 68 assists throughout this tournament. He because he's not a natural born citizen but just naturalized I think people don't view him the same way which is is sad because he put his whole heart into it. I mean it hadn't been, in the last 25 years, Mantis Cagliatis in 2015 um, had scored 70 assists. So Lorenzo Brown was almost there. Again, not surpassing, but very close. And again, Lorenzo Brown was not discussed enough during Eurobasket 2022. Matus Montika, what can we say about the Polish player who was the first to score a triple-double in Eurobasket since 1995 when he combined 26 points, 16 rebounds, and 10 assists against Slovenia? He balled out that game. Um, I, I think he was the key factor in bringing his team the victory for that game. Um our next stat we're going to look at is threes. Eurobasket had the most threes that is it has ever had in a tournament with a total of 1,523s scored. Um, amazing numbers. Amazing numbers for a short tournament. Um, and it's more than the 2015 and 2017 additions combined. So, you know, the, the game of basketball has obviously changed uh, and will continue to change. Uh, just like in the NBA, more threes are being taken. And I don't know if you noticed, but I surely did. In Eurobasket, when those threes are taken, most of them go in. I find with NBA players, that's not always the case. You have key players like Steph Curry who, you know, a majority of the time make his threes but with a lot of the other players it's not as consistent but these players are consistently making their threes um germany had 118 three pointers in the tournament and that's the most in a single tournament since 1995 think about that 118 three pointers that's an amazing, in a short tournament, it's not a very large tournament. Um, Greece averaged 92.3 points per game. Um, so they their offense played an amazing uh, tournament. And 
It's the best average for a team in Eurobasket in the last 25 years. So you're seeing in, uh, in many areas that the players are either coming close to or surpassing past targets. Um, the winning mentality has to go to Spain. Spain obviously took it all away, won the tournament, never gave up. Um, more than any other team, those three games happening during the knockout phase were key, obviously key games that they gave their all to. So you have to give it to Spain for not giving up, for pushing forward and winning the tournament. Um, an average of 166 points a game were scored in this tournament. So compared to say an NBA, that's not a lot, but it's the most for Eurobasket in 30 years. Um, and there were seven games that went into overtime. And if you're like me, when games go into overtime, I'm like on the edge of my seat. It's great basketball. You love to see it. Um, and in 2013, there was only eight games. So it, th there's a big change in what we're seeing in Euro basketball, and it's only going to get better. I hope you enjoyed hearing about the different uh, stats throughout the Euro Basket 2022. When World Cup comes on, I'll be following it. Subscribe to Rovis Rants, hit the like button. I will continue to give uh, more content on basketball, European, as well as, as the NBA. I will be discussing football, soccer, hockey, boxing, you know, just about everything. I'm a sports fanatic, as you can tell. Um, so again, hit the like button, subscribe to Rovis Rants, hit the bell so that you're notified each time I do a stream, and I'll see you soon.